our vantage point any sign of Sean Combs, the 54-year-old who is believed to be the property owner of this. They are gathering information, talking to the folks who are there on the property, as well as going through the home. It wasn't as heightened as we saw just 10 minutes ago when they actually got onto the property. Well, definitely a little bit more relaxed as far as the investigators that you see right there. And now we're getting more of a count. Uh, you can see that there's four, maybe five people down there, six uh, total, that they have removed from the home. A couple of them still in cuffs. We don't know what exactly they're looking for, who they're looking for. But again, this could possibly be linked to. What up? This is Rapids. So we can see how this Diddy thing is going to unfold based off of how we saw things unfold with other celebrities. So first we saw Keefe D, he got his home raided, and then a couple months later, he was arrested. So I'm expecting something similar with Diddy, because usually when they do the raids, the arrest comes later when it's dealing with celebrities. So with Young Thug, we saw the raid, and they took him in right then and there. So when we see these raids take place the arrest of someone is usually imminent but not every time but with this one i would say there's a good chance that he's going to be arrested but you never know he could still skate off of these charges depending on what they found that's what it comes down to is the evidence so i'm guessing that they interview some witnesses by now before the raid so Cassie might have gave up some witnesses or someone else. They might have interviewed some witnesses and got some information. And then they went ahead and pursued it. So with Young Thug, he got raided and then he was arrested right there on the spot because he was there. So Diddy, it was like he had a heads up because they said his plane had been tracked moving across California. And that was prior to the arrest or to the raid. And now some people are questioning if Diddy might have fled the country. It hasn't been confirmed, but TMZ tracked his plane going to the Caribbean. So they said they found that his plane had took off that morning before the arrest. Well, I keep saying arrest, but the raid. They said they saw Diddy's plane, his love air flight his personal private jet take off to the caribbeans that morning so the, no one confirmed that diddy was on that plane though because his plane could be used for maybe loaned out it could be loaned out like a uber you know they do that with these private jets just because it's diddy's personal private plane doesn't mean anyone else couldn't hire that plane to be used he might be renting it out so we don't know if diddy was on that plane but i would guess he's considering leaving the country whether he was on it or not because that might be his only option right now because really with keefe d he kind of had a heads up things were getting heated up for him and he could have took that opportunity to leave the country before things got too um too crazy because you know, right now, there's a gray area where if Diddy hasn't been officially detained or arrested, I don't see why he wouldn't consider leaving the country because Russell Simmons did the same thing. Russell Simmons left the country and he's been free ever since because he's been gone for, it seems like a decade or more because he has some allegations popping up. So with Diddy, yeah, I mean... If he is in the Caribbean, that means he left behind everything and he's going to probably not set foot back into America if that's where he is. Um, so he could be out in the Caribbean and that means he left his mansion, his multiple homes, and he left all his belongings, his loved ones. He had to leave a lot behind and just be out there with you know not knowing anybody out there just being out there and that's the life of being on the run like tay k so diddy might have fled the country for all we know and that might be his best option because right now things are definitely heated what's he gonna do sit here and face the charges or leave the country while he has the chance 
I would guess that would be one of his top options right now would be to flee and start over if he has to. Maybe he would have to, you know, who knows if they would freeze his bank accounts or anything. But right now they said they had detained his sons. So Justin and King, and King is the rapper of the two. So he was trying to get his career started by mimicking his father. Now his career is kind of, you know, finished, it looks like, because he can't really emulate his father now with all these allegations and at first he was a rising star so now i bet you his career is gonna finish at least for now and so we saw images of them detaining king and justin combs and the word is according to reports that he would send his sons out to recruit younger girls to come to parties so it looks like they could be involved or questioned, you know, and who knows if they've been released or anything yet. There's not a whole lot of answers right now because all this is developing as we speak and things are going to probably be developing over the next week or two. So expect a lot of updates and it looks like this is a very serious charge because we saw what happened with R. Kelly. They were not playing with them. Same thing with Bill Cosby. They weren't playing with him. And then that Maxwell girl with the Epstein thing, you know, so this is some very serious stuff when it comes to the age of the people involved in the allegations and the people that were said to be helping Diddy out, finding people to recruit to come to these parties. And even T.D. Jakes was being associated with Diddy. So who knows how he's taking all this information and so we're gonna have to watch as the story develops they saw diddy walking around the airport someone filmed him he looked very nervous and stressed so it's not clear exactly uh, what time this was but they said it was definitely the day of so this sounded like they filmed him while he knew his homes were being raided and he had multiple homes being raided so it looks like he had a couple homes in the L.A. area and they were both being raided and they saw Diddy pacing around by himself, looked very stressed out. This is not a good look. I mean, he's going to have to, like I said, the only option he has right now is to probably flee because there's not many other options unless he wants to face the music. I think he he's going to want to try to consider a way to where he wouldn't have to go through this because we're watching the fall of Diddy. This is a very serious thing. It's been developing over the last year or two. Ever since he had issues with Ciroc, they, they were parting ways. And then all of a sudden we started seeing a whole lot of stuff taking place with accusations and lawsuits. Once he settled the first lawsuit, then other lawsuits came because they're seeing, oh, he's, he's settling. He's giving out $30 million dollars to not go to court and not to talk about this stuff so other people came forward and started making allegations so now it's just a big mess and i think the feds are trying to sort through this now and figure out the fact from fiction and so homeland security is involved in this raid and they're taking it very serious because it sounds like these people that he had well the, the allegation is he like i said he had people recruiting young girls for the parties and young people so what they're saying is there's possible connection with this and traveling across state lines so there was under you know the people of their age group was being um sent from a different state so that crosses state lines and that's when it becomes a very serious fed issue so Look, the whereabouts of Diddy right now is unknown. Like I said, people are wondering if he's even in the country anymore. So I'll keep you posted as more information becomes available. But right now, it's not looking good for Diddy. I expect an arrest. Although no one has confirmed that an arrest is going to be made or anything. We could just see the writing on the wall. You know, we could put two and two together. Like I said, we could look at previous cases that were similar and we saw how those situations played out. So, you know, no one is going to be surprised if there is an arrest maybe this week. So 
the only real way, like I said, for Diddy to avoid an arrest is to not be in the country and not to set foot in America again. He's going to have to do like Russell Simmons and maybe go to wherever Russell Simmons is, go somewhere where they can't extradite him back to America. And he's going to have to maybe even start from scratch unless he has access to his bank account because I'm hearing he's a billionaire. He's like one of the richest people in the world right now. So, you know, who knows if he's going to have any access to his bank account once he leaves this country, if they're going to freeze it or who knows what's going to happen with his money. But as long as he can, you know, start fresh in another country, that's going to be his really only option besides a possible arrest. He can't really risk coming to America. I would I would guess that he's a flight risk. So if they do detain him, he's going to have a severe bail, if a bail at all. He might not, you know, he might be denied a bill if they arrest him. So he's going to have to think about all this because it's not guaranteed he's going to get a bill because he's definitely going to be considered a flight risk, I would assume, especially with all this plane activity that's been going on with him, you know, being on this private jet and they're tracking it, leaving the country and stuff. So that's going to all be um, addressed if he gets detained, if they ever catch up with him. They're going to be talking about how he was jumping on flights and stuff, and they're going to be tr probably trying to keep him without a bail or with a very, very severe high bail. So, yeah, he, you know, like his best bet is probably to leave the country as soon as possible. The writing's on the wall. You know, when Keefe D saw this happening to him, he stayed, you know, he, there, was buzz, there was a buzz that this was going to happen to Keefe D before it happened. And he stayed in Las Vegas. He didn't leave. So that was his chance to leave. Because once once they get you, you know, once once they get him booked, if they can arrest him and then indict him on some charges, that's going to make it very difficult for him to leave then. So his chance, his, his only window of opportunity to leave would be right now. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm going to uh, keep you all posted as more information comes available. Make sure you sign up to Rat Pit's free email newsletters. Links in the comment section. I got some giveaways in there as well. I got some links and all that. So check that out. I'm out of here. This is Rat Pit's.